I'm Dr. Halter Rogers from Rice University. I have a mystery that I'd like your help with. This takes place in the tiny island of Guam, the southernmost island in the Mariana Islands chain. There, residents have reported that the wild chili peppers are disappearing. This chili pepper, better known as the boonie pepper or the donisali, is fiery hot and a key part of local Chamorro cooking. Donisali hot sauce is bottled and sold in gift shops and grocery stores across the Mariana Islands. There are even Donisali festivals to celebrate these tiny yet potent chili peppers. Some are pointing their fingers at this guy as the culprit, the invasive brown tree snake, one of the world's most famous serial killers. The first snake likely came to Guam as a stowaway aboard a military cargo ship in the mid-1940s. The island didn't have any predators like the snake at that point, and the birds are not expecting to see a tree-climbing, egg-eating, nocturnal murderer on the loose. The snakes feasted on a buffet of the island's birds, small mammals, and lizards, and reproduced like crazy. There are currently around a million snakes on the island, and the forest that used to sound like this now sound like this. But you may ask, what does this have to do with the wild chili peppers? Well, we suspect that local residents across the Mariana Islands have relied on the goodwill and digestive system of the Micronesian starling, also known as the Sali, for maintaining populations of wild chili peppers. Local residents tell me they used to see starlings eating chili peppers and dispersing the seeds around the forest, so they hypothesize, as do I, that without starlings, the seeds don't get moved around, and thus we see fewer and fewer wild chili plants each year. Is this really what's happening? It seems like a plausible hypothesis, but we should take a closer look to see if this resolves our mystery of the disappearing chili peppers. To support this project, visit rockethub.com and search for SciFund. Or for more information, visit ecologyofbirdloss.org.